How am I gonna get down from here? Huh. Oh, this should be quite the ride. I'd do that again, if it weren't so much work to get back up there. Grab one a bit.
Something tells me those are Berggren's missing hunters. Come, tell us your story, Outlander. I'm a friend. Berggren sent me, told me you might need some help. <laughs> that Osiram blowhard in Song's Edge? Did he pretend to be concerned for us? We're doing fine. We don't need to be looked after like children. That's not the way Berggren tells it. He says you tried to settle up with him using a shattered Thunderjaw heart. What? That's an exaggeration. It was only broken in two. Urkai, we don't have time for this. Come on, boys, back to the hunt. We still need two more of Berggren's components. What's the rush? We want out of these lands as soon as possible. That's all you need to know. Why are you leaving the cut? Well, we could go back to Banor. Let Anakut slit our throats. By the blue light, Orkai. Why don't you just write our story in the snow for any passing hunter to read? We had a dispute with the chieftain of our old Werak. We thought someone else should have been in charge. He disagreed. It seemed like a good time to move on. So, we are traveling to the Sundom. From here to the Sundom? It's a long trip. Seems worth it. Sometimes survival is about knowing when to leave and where to go. Yeah, and in this case, survival means us getting as far away as we can from Bonor. We've seen enough red snow. What's the plan once you get there? What will survival be about then? Look. All that matters is that we get there. And to do that, we need shards. So if you'll excuse us. 
So this Thunderjaw heart you brought Bergren. Let me ask you this, all right? Why would it matter that the heart was broken into two pieces? Can't you just stick it back together? Of course you can't just stick it back together. I just meant... Oh, I bet that scam artist Osram could. He just wants to send us on another stupid errand. Oh, he's not so bad. I like Bergren. Like him? Tulamot, he sent us out in the snow to nearly die under the feet of a Thunderjaw, and- Boys, shut up! Ugh! Every time someone brings up that stupid heart. I've got the Scorcher Claw Bergren was asking for. That only leaves the Stalker Sinew and the Snap Mawfang. You should hold on to it. You're coming along to the next hunt after all, aren't you? I suppose somebody's gotta keep you three out of trouble. Fine. I guess you'll have to tag along then. But don't start thinking you're one of us. The bloody snowdrifts aren't accepting new hunters. <laughs> bloody snowdrifts? That's what you want to call our Warwick? Yeah, it's not great to die. Oh, it's, it's not like your names are any better. You. We're headed northwest, to the ruins near Hollow Hall. We'll be waiting. Good. I can use this. These are helpful. Better, though.
down there, Flaming Skull. Next time, Orkite, that is not our name. Maybe we should table this argument until after the hunt. My blood running like the hunt. How about it, Abel? Did you find the next part? Should have brought a cart. That's another cart down. One more and you'll have what you need to pay off Burgund. Starting to feel real, you know. We're starting to believe we're really gonna get out of here. Honestly, I wasn't sure we'd survive a week without Nikoni. But here we are. Who's Nikoni? Nikoni... Nikoni was... She, she was a friend of ours. She challenged the chieftain for control of our... of the Werak. She didn't make it. No. If you're gonna tell this story, tell it true. She was murdered. Is this why you left Benoit? Because of this business with Nikoni and your chieftain? Onakud knew Nukoni was our mentor, our friend. We couldn't stay. That final night, we snuck back to camp, packed what we could, and left. Like cowards. What are we to tie? We are Banuk, aren't we? Survive and prevail. That's what we do. It's not what she did. Nukoni challenged the chieftain. Why? Only Cup wrapped himself in power and authority the way some people wrap themselves in furs. If you were willing to fawn over him and sing false songs to him, you might get a spot on the best hunts. The Werex split into two. Those willing to lick the bottoms of Onikut's feet and the rest of us, waiting for things to get better. Until Nikoni. She was the best and bravest of us. She was the one who took a stand. What happened? How did you lose Nikoni? She challenged the chief into a hunting competition. Oni could damn him. He wasn't nearly the hunter Nakoni was. But who comes back to the camp after the trial? Oni could, grinning like a snap maw, crowing, Oh, where's little Nakoni? We tracked Nakoni through the woods. Found her not far from the trailhead. Her damn neck snapped. I don't want to remember her like that. But sometimes that memory. That's all I can think of. I'm sorry to die. It sounds like she meant a lot to you. To all of you. I'm sorry for what you've been through. It's nice to be heard. Thank you, Aloy. Look, it doesn't matter, okay? What happened in Bonoer is buried in Bonoer. What matters now is what happens in the Sundom. That's where the burning turkeys are gonna make a name for ourselves, right? Oh, the burning turkeys? Seriously? It rolls off the tongue. Sort of like vomit? So, where to next? There's a lake just west of here. Seems like a good place to find a snap maw thing. We'll meet you there. If you beat us there, just wait by the campfire. We'll be along.
Got some blue gleam. Might as well trade it. No sign of them yet. Guess I'll just sit and wait. Looks like she beat us to it. Well, what are we waiting for? Weapons at the ready! <laughs> to the hunt, sunshine snowshoes! No! No, no, no! Rejected! <laughs> we'll discuss it later.
Let's have a proper goodbye, huh? There. That's the last of Bergren's parts. Looks like you three are out of debt. For now. Until Orkai breaks something else. It was one time! You make a nice shaman, Aloy. Thanks for lending a hand. Maybe we'll meet you in the Sundom sometime. Once you get to the Sundom, what then? What's the next step? We hunt like Nikoni wanted to hunt. Nikoni had big dreams. A werak in which everyone pulls their weight and takes care of each other. No shamans, no chieftains, no need to pry the power out of anybody's hands. Sounds like a lot of work. Mm, but worth it, I think. And a fitting tribute to Nikoni. We can become the werak she always wished for. You won't have me to strip your kills now. Are you three gonna be all right? Eh, doesn't look that hard, really. We'll be fine. Great. He washes three successful harvests and he's suddenly a shaman. When you get to Song's Edge, talk to Bergrant. If he can't teach you himself, he'll know someone who can. Sure. And I bet he charges us for the introduction. Uh, thank you, Aloy. I'm sure we'll figure it out. I guess this is goodbye. How does it feel, putting Banuk lands behind you? The only thing I would have missed is already gone. Let all those rotten Bonor suck-ups freeze to death. That's a little much, Urkai, don't you think? It's strange. What is it to be Banuk after Banur forsakes you? How do we decide who we are? How about you, Aloy? Who do you think we are? What will you remember of us? Look around. You've taken down more machines since you left Banur than some hunters take down in a year. Shattered hearts and all, right, Orkai? It wasn't shattered. But you took down a Thunderjaw to get that heart, didn't you? We did. <laughs> so, silly suggestion. But what if we were the shattered hearts? You know, I actually like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Thank you, Aloy, for seeing us for who we are. You're all right, Aloy. Thanks. In a tut. As we are bound by laws, you are bound by wire. Yet your crime was the act of killing. So we must drive you out. Away from the Werek. From protection. From our songs. My chieftain. Coppola. Am I not your favorite fighter? Do you not recognize me from this tooth you knocked out? How many times have I pulled you from danger by your neck? Made excuses for your behavior? You are my favorite! But the shaman is decided. While you wait for exile, think on what brought you here. A test of strength! Who among us would refuse a challenge from an outlander? Not I! But I did not kill him! Hush, hush. You can tell your story to the ice. <laughs> You took Artok's mantle. It's mine now. 
I would like to see that fight. They said that you killed someone. Perhaps I did. If even my chieftain accepts it, it must be so. That's not the way it works for me. Wanna tell me your story? I did fight with the Karja Hunter to settle a challenge. That much is true. He was strong and damn quick. We traded punches. Good punches. Hard punches. And the next thing I remember... Gray morning light and the Karja beside me with his head broken open. But the blow was not by my hand. Isn't your Werak supposed to support you? At least give you the benefit of the doubt? When our Werak had cause to quarrel, I was a solution. To fight for its honor and win, they'd call on me. Or, when they needed someone to lose for appearances, I could do that too. Now when Outlander is murdered without honor, all eyes are on me. I have become my Werak's shame. They don't want an incident with the Karja, so you take the fall. But it's what I do best. So, everyone knows you started the fight with this man? Of course! For honor, I'll fight anyone! If, if I wasn't bound, I'd fight to prove myself right now! I don't think that would help you. This is what I am. Each runner in the Warwick has a gift. I brawl. None can take a punch, a fall better than I can. Until this time, I was too drunk. We were grappling, he clapped my ears. I took one last swing as I went down, but... Not a killing blow. It can't have been. And for your punishment, they'll exile you from the Warwick? From warmth. March me up the slopes of the cloud shear. Leave me stripped and exposed. That's awful. If I survive, the land has absolved me. That's the law. It must be accepted. It's still awful. I'm not stupid. I don't like my chances either. I can't fight a mountain. I'll be honest, you haven't got a good defense in it, Tut. I've heard that one before. Where did the fight happen? A clearing, just outside the Karja Outlanders camp. You should talk to them. They wouldn't hear me out. They say no one else could have been there other than me and the dead man. The shaman consulted the signs in the snow and agreed. I'll see what I can find out, and I'll be back. I'll be here. What else am I gonna do until the horn gives a call for my exile? than the grave horse. That place... Burgrind, how'd your investment pay out? Quite handsomely, thanks very much. Hey, do you know those three crazy Banuka calling themselves the Shattered Hearts now? <laughs> well, now that I have those parts, I can pay off a debt of my own. So they've gone south then? Aye, that they have. I've got a friend in the Sundom by the name of Otur. He owes me a favor. Old Otur is a machine scavenger. A pretty competent one, so I sent them to learn from the best. Or at least from the pretty competent. Well, we work with the resources we have. Speaking of which, here, a token of my gratitude. I remember when the blood of both Karja and Banuka. I could forget what warmth feels like out here. Handle their bows. A quick way down.
Huntress, what business do you have with us? I was asked to look into the murder of a Karja hunter. What happened? It's plain as day. A drunk Banuk thug picked a fight with Ruas, struck him down from behind and stole his headdress. The accused man says that he didn't do it. You're not going to get anything useful out of the Banuk, whether they talk to you or don't. They gather up like cloaks in a chill wind every time a hunter dies out here. Won't even hand Ruas's killer over for a proper trial. A proper trial? To fill his mouth with salt, and hold him up for the sun to consider over days. If it is Clement, it may only take his sight, or his wits. So other Karja hunters have died in these lands before? Three, maybe four in the last few seasons. That's no surprise. This place punishes even the prepared, and many young nobles don't prepare. But usually the snow covers everything, and the bodies are never found. No thanks to the Banuk. Do you think they're involved? No. If it's not about their tribe, they don't want to get involved. In these outlands, even the sun cannot thaw all it touches. Doesn't sound like you trust the Banuk much. They're not without their reasons to keep apart from us. Ten years of reasons. Oh, it's the war. The war is over. We made amends, but no. The land never forgets. Snow and ice keep memory, they say. It takes time for scars to heal. You think I don't know that? I still bear the lashes for refusing one of the Mad King's sun priests. I was your age then. Uh, times of shadow. Times of shadow. Where did you find Ruas's body? There's no hunt, girl. Nothing to pick up. Humor me. I'm a good tracker. Down the rise to the west, there's a clearing. But a grazer herd couldn't have trampled it better. And if that barbarian gives up Ruas's headdress before they cast him out, let me know. It's valuable. Sometimes you just have to sit back and make the world This is it. The snow's been disturbed a lot. That was used for the killing blow. Didn't try to hide the weapon. Question is, is Inatet the kind of fighter who hits from behind with a tree branch? Well, here's something. Lots of leaves and bark scraped off here. And someone pulled out the branch? No. From climbing it. They came through the trees. Karja camp in the clearing. Oh, 
and covered this over. I'm trying to hide. Carja armor. This looks bad. It doesn't matter. The deed is done. Another Carja dead. Hmm. And a Banuka deck out for it. A life for a Carja life. <laughs> That's war. Could he kill for that? here not Banuk then she won't be missed to me you chops You've been killing Karja. And for what? Revenge for the war? Who gets to declare that one tribe no longer hates another? I'll tell you. Not the ones who fought. Not the ones whose songs are silenced. Like my kin. For what you did, another Banuk has been sentenced to certain death. What about his song? Oh, that's why you followed us. For that punch drunk idiot in a toot. Fate is sharp today. They've already let him out to face his exile. Let's see who the cold claims first. I need to go after Inatut. But I should find some more evidence first. Carja soldiers. Not that it's any excuse. Did they keep any clothes from their victims? This Carja gear's not warm, but if Inatut's naked on a snowfield, he'll take what he gets. Okay, time to get moving.
Take someone if you want to lose them forever. I'm not getting up that frozen waterfall. Maybe along the sides. Frozen solid. Mixed feelings about that. Inatut? Inatut! Maybe he found shelter? I hope he found shelter. Behind the rock. Girl? Is it really you, or has the bone shell got through my skull? I found the real killers. No one else has to die because of this. Take these. A dead Tarsus clause. Haven't I been beaten down enough? But I won't argue. Where I thought I'd saw my ancestors. They said we would surprise you ended up here. <laughs> Better hurry. <sighs> Machines.
Lucky me. Now that was a fight. Your trial's over. It was other Banuk who killed that man. Killed him because he was Karja. You know why I took the first swing at him? He challenged the honor of the Banuk. The honor. That's what I thought. Come on. Let's get you back. Once I'm off the mountain, I'll find my own way. I need to think. It's not something I'm used to. Who knows what could happen. I'll see you at town then. You had better make it, all right? I give my pledge. Inatut told you the truth. This is the headdress stolen from the murdered man. You'll find more in a ravine north and west of here, along with the bodies of the killers. The exile still served its purpose. He was guilty of our suspicion. Fate has fallen like snow, and should Inatut return, he will be absolved. You can't be serious. He speaks for the Warwick, my Nora friend. You look ridiculous. If you would return to my Wirak, you will behave as a Banuk does. How does a Banuk behave, my chieftain? Like I did? Accepting a sentence for a crime he did not commit. Or those others who killed in cold blood for crimes that their Karja victims did not. I think what I wear will not make me more or less of a Banuk. For his own sake, it would be wise for him to think less, Nora friend. I'll talk to him, but not for you. I defied my chieftain's will, spurned my Warwick. How are you feeling? As if I've been pounded the guts. I could just keep walking, but when my anger has thawed, it will leave me with nothing. Where else would I go? You can decide for yourself what it means to be a Banuk. It might not be what the Chieftain and the Shaman tell you. Whether you stay with this Warak or find another... I'm better with decisions like, do I start with the left? or the right. There's more to you than your fists, Inatut. That's why I believed you. It was my chieftain who taught me honesty. Said, a Banuk should not be treacherous when the ice is treacherous enough. I'll sit with my bruises for a time, then talk with her again. As for you, Nora girl, will you accept this gift? A, a little scrawny weight against the great boon you gave me, but... I'm honored. Thank you, Inatent. <laughs> 